Violent crimes are taking place at Occupy camps all across the country, and authorities, well, they're not taking it anymore. Now, following last week's deadly shooting, police in riot gear, they cleared out encampments at Occupy Oakland earlier today. Now, reportedly, they arrested 32 people during this raid. Now, this after yesterday, officers in Oregon arrested more than 50 in clashes with police while attempting to shut down Occupy Portland. And yet, Democrats continue to send their praise and support to the protesters. And what more is, gonna, is it going to take for them to stand up against this alleged violence. Joining me now with Reaction, the founder and the president of the group Bond, the Brotherhood Organization for New Destiny, Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson, and I am on his board for Howard Kurtz for the 400th time, <laughs> and author of the best-selling book, American Individualism, Fox News contributor Margaret Hoover. Look at what's happening. They have literally separate tents because of rapes. Yeah. We had a murder. There's a plan out I read earlier today that they're, they're literally now trying uh, this bomb threats yeah. that they're talking about. And the president, Nancy Pelosi, wrapped their arms around this thing. Somebody, there was a person killed in Oakland, yeah. California this week. I blame Barack Obama for this. Barack Obama has gone out and created a class warfare because he has failed in what he was trying to do. And uh, next year, he's going to blame it on the Republican. Unemployment is at 9.1%. Uh, uh, the people are not happy. So he's going to say, look, I tried to get you jobs. I tried to help you, but the Republicans would not allow me to do it. He, he had think, two years of a Democratic Congress. <laughs> right. <laughs> but he <laughs> thinks that's going to help him. Um, and then he goes out and tried to compare Arkansas Wall Street, a bunch of airheads who have no idea why they are there, by the way. He asked, why are you here? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm not, uh, uh, Oh, they have no idea, using drugs, committing crimes, just out of control. And Obama goes out and try to compare that to the Tea, Tea Party. Party movement. As you know, I founded the South Central L.A. Tea Party movement, and we're about less government in our lives, our freedom. Uh, we want well, lower taxes. They're racist because all it's, Tea Party members are racist. That's right. Media. They, all right. Let me get Margaret in here. Jesse, they're trying I to mean, call us that. Jesse, you know, you know what I think this begins to remind me of, Sean? And I, you must remember in 1990s, the WTO protest. I'm an old guy remember that. Right, well, I remember I was, you know, in kindergarten. But, but in, in the 1990s, remember the protests in Vancouver? Remember these WTO protesters who were vandalizing? They were beating back authority. They were, they were, uh, there were fires. There was same thing. Seattle, same thing. And uh, exactly, and, and you, you have in the left when they're protesting this anti-authoritarianism, this anarchist streak that just despises authority, despises the cops, and looks for that tension with the cops, and, and, and really breeds violence. You don't get that in right-wing protests. In right-wing protests. Yeah. You get people who they don't like the federal government, but they respect local authorities. They respect That's the right. cops. And there's a, there's a real difference in the way the right and the left but, protest. But, and this re risks really disenfranchising the Democrats who support them still, because it's, it's going to end up alienating the Nancy Pelosi's, the Harry Reid's, the, the Barack Obama's, the President Obama's. The media Obama's hasn't portrayed Democrats. it this way. They try to say that they're similar to the Tea Party and Occupy Wall Street. They didn't need rape shelters set up at. <laughs> at, at a Tea Party no, rally. That's right. The, the, the notion of comparing the two is completely bogus. I mean, there's nothing. First of all, the, the Tea Party was way bigger. OK, let's keep in mind, there's still only 300 people down in Zuccotti Park in New York. There are three right. 30,000 people that show up for Black Eyed Pea concerts, by the way, in Central Park. And there were I mean, 30,000 people on Tea Parties across the country on tax day. Remember there? I mean, well, 600 you know, Tea Parties. The uh, Occupy Wall Street people are so dumb. Protesters are so dumb. They are protesting uh, the banks and Wall Street where they really should be protesting the government because it was Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac under the uh, head of the, the uh, Congressional Black Caucus and others who forced the banks to give loans to blacks and Hispanics who could not afford to get homes. They, get, they told the banks, if you don't give us these loans or give blacks these loans, you are racist. And so the banks gave the loans to the people. They could not afford their homes. They lost their homes, and the country fell apart. And these people, instead of uh, protesting Barack Obama and the government, they're going after the banks. And then on one hand, they say, well, uh, the government should not bail out like the banks. But we want the government to bail us out. All right, what, if it's wrong for the base, it's wrong for them. You're in a feces with throwing the cops in one place. Um, yeah. uh, but the anti-Semitism has really bothered me. And it's been pretty rampant and widespread and well chronicled. Now, there were charges of racism with the Tea Party that they couldn't prove. But the, we, we do have the proof about anti-Semitism. Why 
is there so much anti-Semitism? And why isn't there more anger at Washington for the cronyism, Solyndra, Sun Power, these phony green groups, uh, bundlers that get access to the president and get taxpayer money? Why isn't there anger? In well, I, I agree with you. There should be. Uh, the anger should be directed at Washington. The anger should be directed. But I, 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 I chafe a little bit against the characterizations that an entire group of people are racist or an entire group of people are anti-Semitic. No, I'm not saying of the whole group. Of course, there have been but isolated there's a, signs. There's a ton, no, no. Yeah. There's but, a ton of people interviewed that say the most anti-Semitic things. Well, I, I, I've seen the same interviews as well. And, and we all saw the, the not so... I mean, look, I, I, I just chafe against this notion that an entire group of people are anti-Semitic. No, I'm not saying that. Yeah. I am saying that there's been so many instances, though. If, they are individuals, but they show up there, and there's no self-policing. But I'll give you the last word. But, uh, look, I think w what you're starting to see is a liberal, progressive mayor of a very liberal town, Portland, Oregon, has come out and said, you guys need to start being constructive. You need to go home. You need to take your tents away and, and, and put your energy towards something constructive. One, and, when, uh, and when you have reason, liberal leaders quick, saying that, One of the reasons they're not doing it because the Democrat, liberal Democratic Party have no shame. They were hoping that this would work out. They tried to blame the Tea Party movement for things like this. It did not work. So they were just hoping this is right. a godless organization. Guys, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Time now to check in. A very special on the record tonight with.